Hey everyone, this is Larissa with Kintone Customer Success. And today I'm gonna to walk you through how to set up your app permissions. So this is gonna be one of the most important things you set up as you create your new app. This is going to determine who has access to the app, who can manage the app, who can view, edit, or delete specific records or fields. So here we have a marketing account info app. So marketing manages many different websites and therefore I've created this app to keep track of the different usernames and passwords. So things to note and keep track of for our form are the username, password, and then the is this applicable to other teams field. So keep those in mind. So here is our scenario. The creator of the app will be the sole admin with access to all the settings. The marketing team is allowed to view, add, and edit records. The sales team can view records so they can see what accounts marketing is using but can only view records that are applicable to other teams, and they can't view or edit the username or password fields. And lastly, everyone else has no permission to view the app at all. So to navigate to permissions, you're gonna click the gear wheel, then go to the app settings tab, and then under permissions. So there are three levels of permissions. We have the app level, record level, and field level. First, we'll start with the app level permissions. So these permissions will allow you to set who can view records, which means access or see the app, add records, edit records, delete records, manage the app, import from a file, and export to a file. So in our example, here we will set the creator of the app is the sole admin who can manage the app. So for the app creator, we'll keep all of these boxes checked. Then we'll add in the marketing team. So for the marketing team, we want them to be able to view, add, and edit records. So view, add, and edit. So we'll take away this delete. And then lastly, we'll add in sales. So we want sales to view records only. We don't want them to edit, delete, or add records, just view. And then lastly, we do have the everyone field. So we don't want anyone else to have permission to this app. So we will remove all of those checkboxes. And then note that the everyone field will be here for every, every setting and you can't remove that. So another thing to note is priority goes from top to bottom. So whatever is on the top is what the system goes by. You wanna keep this in mind as you create your permissions. So if you have one person in both sales and marketing and you have the sales permission on top of marketing, then that person's permissions will be based off of sales. In this case, you'd wanna move marketing above. So we'll wanna rearrange by using this drag and drop feature to set permissions. So I am the app creator, but I am also in the marketing and the sales group. So I'd wanna move myself, the app creator, to the top so that I have all of these permissions set. So I'd say the most important feature here is making sure no one has access to delete records except for the administrator. This way you won't have any data accidentally deleted. So if there's one thing that you do within your app permissions, it should be to make sure that delete records field is unchecked for everybody. So now we're gonna save this. And then let's go to record permissions. So this is where you can filter out the records others see. In our example, we want sales to only be able to view records that are applicable to other teams. So we'll click add and then we'll choose, is this applicable to other teams? Then includes any blank field. To the right, we will set who has the permissions. So we'll say sales, can't view, edit or delete. So this whole entire thing is saying when the field is this applicable to other teams, includes any blank field, then sales cannot view it, edit it, or delete it. Now notice everyone has all the permissions for this record. Not only is there priority for these permissions 
order, there's also priority for the permissions overall. So at permissions come before record permissions and record permissions come before field permissions. So you'll wanna keep the everyone as all checked so that marketing can still see the records. Since everyone has no permission in the app permissions, the permissions set for everyone in the record and the field permissions only apply to who was given permissions in the initial app permissions. So this might sound a little confusing, so just remember the priority for permissions. First it's app level, that takes priority, and then it's field level, and lastly you'll have, oh, my mistake. First it's app level, then you'll go to record level, and then lastly you'll have your field level. So keep that top priority in mind. So we'll save this, and we'll go down to field permissions. So here we wanna make sure sales can't view the usernames and passwords. So we'll add username, sales, can't view or edit, and we'll add password, sales, can't view or edit. Again, you can leave everyone as view and edit so marketing can still see and edit the fields since the app level and record level permissions take priority over these field permissions. Then we'll click save and then update app. So there you have it. You can now set your app permissions like a pro.